When it comes to crafting the perfect desk setup, most of us look for a balance between practicality, aesthetics and organisation, all whilst being budget friendly. If you're one of those people and searching for inspiration to elevate your workspace without breaking the bank, then this is the video for you. First up, let's talk about the foundation of any workspace, the desk. I knew from the start finding a desk spanning roughly 2 meters would be costly. However, after some research, I found the perfect solution from IKEA. Their expansive 2 meter wide tabletop caught my eye, priced at just £35. Its simple, plain white surface offered the perfect blank canvas for me to infuse with my personal style and creativity. Now, while the tabletop does provide a spacious canvas, I feel like layers are what truly elevate the functionality and aesthetic of any workspace. A desk shelf is the most simple way of achieving this, however, desk shelves are not cheap. After looking at all the options available online, I decided to try something different. IKEA's LAC floating shelf is typically intended for wall mounting, but I decided to use this as the shelf for my studio display. Given its incredibly affordable price point of just £13, I think it works well. Moving on, no IKEA desk setup is truly complete without a sturdy foundation to support it all. IKEA's Alex drawers are a staple in many budget friendly workspaces and I decided to stick with them for mine. I've utilised these drawers in my previous desk but for those of you eyeing them for your own setup they typically retail for £75. Considering their quality and practicality, that's definitely a reasonable investment to ensure your workspace stays organised and functional. Now the slight gap between each of these layers on my desk is a deliberate choice that I think adds a touch of dimension and visual interest to the setup. To achieve this stylish hover effect and create the desired gap between each layer, I made use of IKEA feet, typically used for placing underneath furniture that sits on the ground. By placing these feet under the tabletop and beneath the lac shelf, I managed to get this floating layer look. Not only does this enhance things visually, but it's also practical. Elevating the lac shelf slightly has facilitated cable management, allowing me to neatly feed the USB-C cable that connects my Mac and display underneath the shelf, as opposed to over the top. Let's dive into the tech that's actually on the desk itself. First off, we have the Apple Studio Display. As a long-time admirer of Apple's design ethos, this display seamlessly integrates with my MacBook, providing a cohesive and aesthetically pleasing setup. While it may not boast the same specifications as the Pro Display XDR, the Studio Display offers a more budget-friendly option without compromising on quality all that much, making this my preferred choice as the primary monitor for this setup. Since integrating the Apple Studio display into my setup, I've been consistently impressed with its performance and durability. This display has definitely held up well over the last year, maintaining its stunning visual clarity and crispness with every use. Its sleek design and slim profile make it a captivating centerpiece on the desk. It's not just the display itself I have been impressed with. The built-in speakers deliver an audio quality that far surpassed expectations, providing immersive sound that enhances both work and entertainment. Whether it's streaming music, watching videos, or just editing content, the studio display speakers never fail to impress, delivering rich, room-filling sound consistently. Powering this display is none other than the sleek and powerful 14-inch MacBook Pro in space black. This Mac has become the most important piece of tech I own, effortlessly managing every aspect of my channel with ease. From script writing to video editing, it handles it all with no issues whatsoever. 
What's truly remarkable about this MacBook Pro is its impeccable balance of design and performance. The compact 14 inch form factor offers the perfect blend of portability and productivity, allowing me to seamlessly transition from on the go work to a stationary setup here in the studio. And in space black, it looks amazing. The dark, sleek exterior is what, in my opinion, makes this one of Apple's best designed products. Adding to the functionality and style of the desk setup is Logitech's MX Mechanical Keyboard and their latest MX Master 3S mouse. Let's start with the keyboard. This is the first time I've invested in a mechanical keyboard and I am loving it. The tactile feedback and satisfying clicks make typing a great experience, enhancing both my speed and accuracy. As for the MX Master 3S mouse, I have been a long time fan of Logitech's MX Master series and this latest iteration does not disappoint. The customization options are unparalleled, allowing me to tailor the mouse to my exact preferences. What truly sets it apart from Apple's magic mouse, aside from its ergonomic design, is the horizontal scroll wheel. If you're in the business of video editing, you'll understand how nice it is to effortlessly navigate through timelines with precision. Combined with exceptional battery life, this mouse has definitely become a must-have for me. I have recently made a video on this mouse and keyboard where I go into lots more detail, so if you're interested in hearing more, then the link to the video will be in the description below. Rounding off the tech on my desk, we have AirPods Max. These headphones are an absolute game changer for me. Whether I'm in need of a private listening experience or want to immerse myself in music while I work, AirPods Max deliver. There's a lot that sets these headphones apart from the competition. I can wear them for hours on end without any discomfort thanks to their plush ear cups and breathable mesh canopy. Their design is sleek, sophisticated and unmistakably Apple. But I think what I love most about AirPods Max is their seamless integration with my Apple products. Whether it's my MacBook or my iPhone, the connectivity is effortless, allowing me to switch between devices with ease. I am eagerly anticipating what Apple have in store for the second generation of these headphones and recently discussed what we can expect in a dedicated video. If you're as much as an AirPods Max fan as I am, the link to that video will be in the description as well. While the tech is vital, it's the additional accessories that truly elevate the aesthetic appeal of the space. First up, the Philips Smart Bulb. I recently found out Philips sold this smart bulb which is able to offer all the functionality of a Philips Hue light bulb without the need for a bridge or hefty investment in the Hue line. Priced at just £15, this standalone bulb can be easily connected to the Wiz Connected app, providing a seamless smart experience at a fraction of the cost. From adjusting the brightness to changing colour temperature, this bulb is a must have if you're a fan of smart technology. Adding a touch of ambience to the desk is this sleek tube from IKEA. I was immediately drawn to its minimalist design and knew it would be the perfect addition to the space. What's even better is the fact it's battery powered, eliminating the need for cumbersome cable management. I picked this up for £10, so if you're in the market for something like this, then it's definitely worth the investment. To further enhance the look of the desk, I've installed an LED strip along the back of the tabletop. This strip doesn't offer any smart capabilities like the Philips Hue line, but the warm white LEDs add a cosy glow to the space, particularly in the evening hours. I am thinking of investing in Philips Hue for a fully connected setup in the future, but for now, I've opted for this standard LED strip to keep costs down. Despite its simplicity, it still does a fantastic job of illuminating the space. Of course, no IKEA desk setup would be complete without the addition of some greenery, so I've incorporated a couple of artificial plants onto the desk, adding a touch of nature to the space without the need for maintenance. For those interested in adding a similar touch, I've included links to the specific plants I've chosen in the video description below. Feel free to check them out if you're looking to bring a bit of the outdoors inside to your own desk setup. The final thing is probably the most important, the chair. 
This is clearly an essential component of any workspace, and while mine may not boast the prestige of a Herman Miller, this IKEA gaming chair priced at £150 still offers comfort and support without spending thousands. With its adjustable headrest and ergonomic design, it's a practical choice that complements the overall aesthetic of the setup. I do think investing in a good chair is extremely important, so maybe a Herman Miller might be something I look at in the future as I start to spend more and more time in this space. That pretty much wraps up everything I have on the desk, but there's still so much more to show off in the new studio. From the frames on the walls to the versatile IKEA pegboards that keep my essentials within arm's reach, I'll go into lots more detail in an upcoming studio tour. As for this video, I hope it has given you some ideas to enhance your own workspace, from the affordable yet stylish furniture pieces to the carefully curated accessories. I do think that this setup proves creating a functional and aesthetically pleasing workspace does not have to come with a hefty price tag. So, if you're interested in seeing lots more content coming out of this studio, then get subscribed and let's see how quick we can get this channel to 10,000 subscribers. I have a lot more cool ideas and content that I cannot wait to share with you all. For now though, thanks for watching and as always, I'll see you in the next video.